everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little antler bun set to make your own little reindeer and I'll just show you in principle so you can see if I can angle it so you can see on my little so it's really simple to do all you need is a couple of bobby pins which are to apologize these you can add the bun holder whether or not you use them yourself or whether or not obviously you have them separate but this is the principle of the idea so you have the two antlers and you have the little nose and like i said you could have a red one or you could have a standard like brown nose now all you need is a piece of fabric so you need two pieces of fabric and you draw a deer antler round and you want to do it so that you can fold it in half and have two you need to do this twice so like i said i draw my little antler shape and then folded it in half and then we are just going to i'm actually going to use a clip this side just hold it in place while i'm cutting and just follow your guideline and like i said you can make yourself a little template so draw your own little template and then this is what you want to do you can make the antlers as big or as small as you want them as long as they look like antlers to you and like i said choose a nice brown shade for your color options you could even choose pink have a nice pink reindeer whatever suits you best like i said you just cut like this round like this with it folded in half Once I get to the top, I'm going to move that clip so it holds the other side in place. Move that across the other. And I actually have these pens, which are threaders. And basically what you can do on your fabric with these, and I've got three colours. I'll put my Amazon link for you. I've three, got three colours. Red, blue and black. And basically you can draw around anything, anything at all with them. And then once you are done, they go like that so all you have to do is heat and all of those marks are gone so what you do is once you've done it is just go around the edges and go like this but I used a different pen when I actually originally drew this so but they are absolutely perfect for a project such as this and all you do is fold them over so it matches this and on the other one you just turn it so it's the opposite way around so you just do two exactly the same Cut them exactly the same, and then you fold one so it's this way, and the other one so it's like this. And you don't want to glue right at the bottom, but what I do is sort of hold it in, take the clip again at the bottom, because you want to line it up as, as well as possible and just glue around. it's all nice and evenly lined up there we go that's one piece and then glue the next layer So that's what we get. Like I said, you'll have two of these that you glue, glue, glue together. And then all you want in your hair clip is to pop that through. 
And like I said, you've got one this way, one that way. Actually, I'm going to take that one out, put that there. So basically, you want them like that so they can go into the head either side like this. And with this one, this one's super, super simple. All you do is take a red pom-pom, glue the end of your bobby pin, like so, and then take it in the centre, and just sort of pinch it onto the end and that works as your nose so like I said that goes straight through the centre of the bun and then I will take them off this one for you and I will show you on my little mannequin and all you need whether or not you use a bun holder or you do a simple bun like this So my mannequin happens to have super long, super thick hair. I don't know if anyone has ever seen these before, but this is a French pin. Better. So make yourself a nice bun in the hair, however you personally do it. And then all you do is one antler that side, one antler in that side, and then your nose sort of fits right in the centre. 